Hey guys, I'm Felix, and in this video, we're talking five simple things you can do to get better at drawing today. All right, we're talking art, we're talking drawing, we're talking everything in between. But today we're talking five simple things that you can do to get better at drawing. Let's just get into it. Thing number one, buy cheap sketchbooks. I pick these things up at the dollar store. If I see them at the grocery store or at Target or at Walmart, they're usually on the end caps. I just scoop them up. They're like a dollar, two dollars. These things are fantastic for getting ideas out of your head and onto paper. I can't tell you how many times I've spent ridiculous amounts of money on expensive moleskins or really nice pieces of canvas only to get home and be stuck. And I never end up drawing anything good in those moleskins or on that canvas. They either just sit blank or if I make a tiny mistake, I scrap it. I never use it. I never open up again. But these cheap sketchbooks are awesome because you don't care. You don't care if the first page is messed up or if the second page is messed up or the 10th or 50th page is messed up. I don't think these things have 50 pages in them. They're pretty cheap. But the idea is when you go in to a drawing and you're not holding that medium sacred, it clears the way for those ideas to flow onto that piece of paper. Which brings us to thing number two. You've got that cheap sketchbook. You've got a whole bag of them bring them with you everywhere you go. Just throw them in your backpack, put them in your car. You can even buy little ones and put them in your pocket. If you're sitting on your lunch break or if you're sitting at the DMV, bust those sketchbooks out and draw. Drawing is 100% a muscle memory activity and the more you do it, the better you're going to become at it. So thing number three, you've got your sketchbook, you've got it in your bag, you're on your lunch break, what do I draw? Draw the things around you everything that you see around you, your coffee mug, your phone, the little cup that holds all those pens, your coworker who doesn't know that you're drawing them. Draw everything that you see. The better you become at drawing things in real life, the better you're going to become at translating the ideas in your head onto paper. Everything that we draw, from realistic drawings to monsters and aliens is rooted in some form of reality. So if you can draw those things, if you can draw things from real life and turn those into marks on your paper, you're going to be better at turning those things from your imagination into art. Thing number four that you can do, be a copycat. Find those artists that you like, Keep a stash of them either on Instagram or on Pinterest or on your computer or on your phone. Just keep full libraries of the stuff and the art that you like and copy it. Now don't take credit for those things. You're trying your best to learn to think like the artists that you admire. And by copying their artwork, you're going to, by proxy, absorb some of their mindset. When people talk about style or style of art, all that is, is what that particular artist chooses to exaggerate. So sometimes it's characters that are overly muscular, or sometimes it's gigantic characters, or really small characters, or very hard edge characters, or very soft curvy characters. It just depends on the things that that artist wants to exaggerate. And by copying those artists, you too will start to learn what it is they're thinking when they put their marks down on paper. And the fifth and final thing for today's video, don't compare. Don't compare yourself to other artists. There's always going to be someone who's better than you and there's always going to be someone who you are better than. When we start comparing ourselves to other artists, it really limits our motivation to want to draw. Use that art that you see as motivation to continue practicing. Find the stuff you like, copy it, learn what they're thinking and put that stuff down on paper for yourself. So there you have it guys, five things that you can do today to get better at drawing. And while these five things are great and things to keep in mind, there is no substitute for hard work. The more you draw, the better you're going to become at it. So bust out those cheap sketchbooks, go on your lunch break, find a quiet place, draw the things around you, copy the artwork from your phone, and be inspired by the artists that you love. 